Iconium is a set of three either wooden or stone couches in Roman properties. They were arranged in the horseshoe shape which for which Romans could recline on to eat their food. In, between, in the middle of the horseshoe was a table which had the food and the wine set, some of which could be quite elaborate and so in, in, in expensive metals like silver, which have been recovered in both in some of the larger houses in Herculaneum and Pompeii. <coughs> the, and when they reclined on the on the Draganium, the the seating arrangements said a lot about the social status of those present. The host was in the centre. When you shared some family members, all the highest ranking people you'd invited over next to him. Then the further away you were from the host, in the whole show shape, the lower it was implied the social status was. And outside the triclinium, there were sometimes there could have been chairs which were seating things like the women or the children of the household. Although they were they were wooden chairs and tables that could be moved around as as fits sort of an ad hoc situation. Um, so then when the triclinium they weren't in all houses. It was a it was it was a social sort of status symbol, because one of the ways Peter Foss identified him was if a room was large enough to actually hold one, and one thing that hasn't changed is that the more space you have in a house and you get involved build bigger rooms, the more well the wealthier you are. In lower class houses, they they instead of having Tuckenium, they would just have, eat in the same room as their kitchen or it is somewhere in the house. Because some of the um, houses we have, we have one ground floor, which includes the kitchen and the lavatory, and it's just implied that they had someone there. We don't have many upstairs of these houses, and it, what we do have, we don't have very much of the partitions of the rooms, either due to the force of pyroclastic flows from the eruption, or from excavations, um, when they've just decimated them to try and get to the lower levels to find things. Because any kind of archaeological mistake that could have been made is probably has been made in Pompeii and Herculaneum as archaeology has developed at the site through the centuries. But back to the Triclinium when they do actually have them in the houses. Some, they, they are it's so simple, they emphasise this by decorating the rooms quite well. They, they, they usually have mosaics on the floors and frescoes on the walls, all very nicely decorated with themes. They, some, the, the wealthier houses have more than one triclinium, so they can decide they either do seasonal designs or other ways which ones they want to hold their dinner parties in, because triclinium is very much uh, you having people around for food, for a dinner party to eat in them. And so some of them, they were either, they also had outside triclinium's, so they could have for the summer weather or, or the nice weather if they wanted to eat out. 